a favor, get some more tape, because I need to back up the video a little bit more. Because, I mean, I'll just stand right at the end of the street corner and shoot down the line. I'm just trying to get the scene. So can we start with your name? Yeah, Benjamin Escobar, B-E-N-J-A-M-I-N, -E Escobar, E-S-C-O-B-A-R. Thank you. So who are you with? Uh, I'm with the Limeño's restaurant. And uh, where are we and what the heck happened? So we're here on the corner of West Little York and Hollister. Uh, so I was at home. I was checking my security cameras before I went to bed. Um, and I just happened to see uh, a bunch of police cars in front of my business. And then I was kind of like, is there something going on over there? So we rushed over here, um, and I went back on the, on the camera uh, footage, and I just see a car coming down from West Little York, and there's two uh, police cars just chasing after him, and you just I, I'm assuming that's where the impact happened because you can kind of see the car sliding, mm -hmm. and then it just I, from from what, whatever happened over there, that's that's what happened, and you know I have the footage there and where you can see it and everything. So you have permission to use it? Yeah, you have permission to use the footage. Thank you. Good evening. Um, approximately midnight tonight, officers from the Northwest Patrol Division got behind a vehicle. They ran the license plate, determined the vehicle was stolen. Um, it, as they got behind the vehicle, they're waiting for backup. They, can t they were on Hollister, approximately the 5300 block. As I said, they were southbound. I think I said southbound on Hollister. Uh, they followed the vehicle for a block. They, they, uh, suspect vehicle made a, a u-turn came back northbound on Hollister um, officers still waiting for a backup unit we're, we're behind the car at, at the uh, freeway Northwest freeway in Hollister the vehicle saw another police officer drive up go behind the up first police car the uh, suspect then drove through the light uh, both lights at the uh, freeway intersection and sped away northbound on Hollister for 
approximately a mile and a half, maybe a little less, uh, across here, uh, Tidwell. Uh, lost control of the vehicle. Striking a curb, which sent the vehicle to its left across the roadway into a ditch. The vehicle struck the ditch, and then it came to rest abruptly thereafter. At this point, we have uh, one confirmed fatality, which is the driver of the vehicle, and we have two people in serious condition at the hospital. What kind of speeds are we talking about during this pursuit? Uh, we're 50 to 60 is the estimate at this point. 50 to 60. These, these three occupants, were they adults or teenagers? Or? We do not have ID at this point. The one, there is actually ID on the one in the hospital, and, and she was a, a, a female, 19 years old. Teenager. The other two you haven't identified yet? No, we have not. I mean, they were looking at minor charges potentially prior to this, correct? It was a stolen vehicle, so that which is a felony, but yes, uh, and then of course evading. But, but I mean, prior prior to this, you know, I mean, it, you know, it, wasn't looking at that much of a problem, right? Well, again, I'm going to say auto theft is a problem, but it wasn't a violent crime. So at that point, so yes, uh, all things considered. You know, it wasn't worth this the risk they took you know for themselves of course which is you know tragedy all anytime you have a, a death and you know, you know we just hate to see that and you know fortunately no one else was was killed that we know of who, who is it that's deceased is that the driver passenger the driver was deceased the driver's a male a male yes okay. he looked he's he's younger but i, I can't tell him um, what, what's next in the investigation? Well, we have to determine exactly one of the one of the passengers was found outside the vehicle, and there's a lot to determine on how that happened. It's it's kind of a mystery how the person uh, ended up where they were, and so we have to kind of do a accident reconstruction. The officers couldn't actually see what happened because of the the, the debris and dust that flew during the accident. So the the person that was ejected. Uh, we don't know exactly where they were in the car, um, and there's some a small possibility they weren't in the car, but we just don't know at this point. Okay. Can we get your name? Uh, it's uh, Chief James Jones, uh, Special Investigations Committee. Is there any surveillance video from nearby businesses? Yeah, we have one one video we haven't been able to, to look at yet, but we are trying to download it now. So that maybe lead, help us a little bit, and, and we'll reconstruct it, and we get a chance to uh, one, talk to the, the, the other um, parties involved at the hospital maybe get a better clear picture of what happened thanks Thank chief. You, chief thanks chief